What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about what to do when the girl gives you negative reactions, okay? Whether it be when you first walk up to her to approach her, whether it be when you try to move her around the venue, when you try to kiss her, even in just when you're talking to her or you're trying to bring her home, any of these situations, you can get negative reactions. I will tell you the wrong way that most guys deal with them and then go over the correct way, okay? So before we continue, Please like and subscribe if you have not already. Make sure you press the notification bell to get notified of new videos Sunday through Thursday, okay? And as part of kind of the new wave coming here on the channel, there's going to be at least one infield footage breakdown per week and possibly even one roast per week, okay? There's a lot of bad coaches and misinformation out there and I want to circulate that so people are aware. So. Think of a, a race car game analogy, okay? I tell my students, my clients, if you're driving a race car, right? Like in a video game, say you you're got your foot on the accelerator, you run into a brick wall, okay? Now you're stopped and you're at a brick wall. Would it be correct to press the accelerator and smash forward more into that brick wall? No, okay? So I tell guys when we're out, I'm like, remember you're at a brick wall, don't, don't press the gas pedal. Because what got a lot of guys are doing, like, for instance, here's a, here's a common thing that happens. I'll have a student on program who'll be pulling, which means he's taking the girl out of the club to leave with him to go towards his house, okay? And on the way out, like, he, he hits this, the club exit, which is a compliance jump, okay? It's a point to, where the girl is now committing to leaving the venue, leaving the familiarity where her friends are, and where she was comfortable and going off with a total stranger. Okay, so this is a point of compliance. So she can give you a negative reaction where like, I can see it from across the room, this happens all the time, it's pretty standard, where like the, the student will be leading in, in the front, okay, the chick will be behind him, walking through the crowd, they're holding hands, and then all of a sudden you see the arm go taut, okay, the arm goes straight. And what does that mean? That means the chick has now stopped and is hesitating and is, is, you know, rethinking this whole thing about leaving with you, okay? And now the wrong move, which a lot of guys will try to do, is they're like, oh, I'm almost at the finish line. Come on, come on, it's, it's okay, come on. And they're trying to press the gas pedal against the, the brick wall, okay? Instead, all you do in that situation, you turn to the girl, hey, what's up, what's going on? She's going to give you the same objection she was giving you before, but they're going to be of a, must, a much lesser degree. Okay, it's going to be very easy to just say, what's up? Oh, yeah, 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 we're going to come right back for your friends. Or, oh, yeah, I live five blocks away. Or, yeah, it's cool. Um, I can get us back in. I know the bouncer. Okay, and if you don't know the bouncer, you just pay cover again. But when you, whenever you get a negative reaction, you basically want to address it. Okay, like, for instance, if I walk up on the open, on the approach, and I'm like, hey, can I meet you real quick? And the girl's like giving me like this kind of like fuck off kind of thing. I'll be like, oh no, no, no. <clears throat> I'll be like, I just wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? I take a step back. I'm still smiling. I'm addressing it. Most guys would, would s experience that reaction from her. And they're like, okay, I need to try another opener. I need to try another fancy line, etc." And so what they're doing is they're just cycling through different sets of, you know, accelerator pushing. The correct move is not to try new lines and, and new openers, okay, it's to address, it's to back up, take a step back, what's up, I just want to meet you real quick, I'm John, what's your name, okay, if, when you're going to kiss the girl, if she's like, whoa, whoa, okay, I talked about in my last video about how to go for the kiss, you just say, oh, I just wanted to see how you kiss real quick, a lot of girls are bad at kissing, don't worry, nobody's watching, okay, and so you're just addressing it, you're not like, no, come here, come here, and like, you know, leaning, that would be pushing the accelerator into the brick wall. You're not like trying to like lean in and like sneak the kiss. Okay, and don't be one of those guys that, guys will be like, okay, just the cheek then. And he'll be like, here, kiss the cheek. And then when she comes in to kiss the cheek, he's like, boom, I kissed you on the lips, like I win. No, the girl's gonna be like, wow, what a fucking creep. And she's gonna leave, okay? So don't be a creep. Just be socially aware, right? Like, say there's a negative reaction from the friend. Here's another example. 
So say you talk to the, the girl you're talking to, you're like, hey, I want to meet you real quick, what's your name? And the friend is like giving a face like, what the fuck, right? Like, who's this guy? What the fuck's this guy doing here? You address that. Oh, hey, what's up? I just want to meet your friend real quick. What's your name? Oh, cool. Who else are you guys here with? You can bring her into the conversation, let her see that you're normal. Okay, most cock blocking from the friend is a result of her trying to like save the girl that you're talking to because most guys that talk to her friend are low value. She assumes that you're low value too. Um, and she's it's her duty as a, a friend to protect her, okay? And so <clears throat> if you ever see a negative reaction, right? If I, if I see like, say there's, that's a group of like three or four girls, okay? And like two or three of them are talking amongst themselves you, like when you're talking to your girl, like say the rest of them are talk, are, are like kind of whispering and they're looking over at you. I'll address that shit, okay? I'll be like, hey, what's what's up? Because what that is basically just like a, you're at a brick wall from a cock block standpoint, okay? The friends obviously with their little signaling and whispering do not approve of you, and it's just a matter of time before they come in and blow up the set and drag their friend away. So the smart thing to do is address it as it happens, okay? If it comes time, I'm just thinking of examples that come to mind. When it comes time to bring girls home, when you're pulling, and say you're talking to two girls, you and Wingman are talking to two different girls, and they're like coding to each other, right? You want to be like, so they're whispering to each other, okay? Giving each other looks and stuff like that. I'm going to be like, I'll be like, what's this? Haha, <laughs> no secrets. What's up? And you're trying to get them to surface their objections, okay? You're not like, oh, I'm just going to pretend this isn't happening and press the accelerator into the brick wall, okay? So one other note on when you get a negative reaction or what's referred to in the seduction community as non-compliance, you want to kind of answer that back with, uh, non you know, with I call it the non-compliance face. So if you're like, hey, I wanna meet you real quick and the chick's like, whoa, whoa, I'll be like, you give a look kind of like this, doesn't make any sense in your reality. This doesn't make sense in your frame. You get lots of girls all the time. You're you're a cool, high value dude. Why why would she be acting like this, right? And you can use that face, but again, don't use it as an outer game tactic. Use it as it's coming from an internal place of like, what the fuck? I just wanted to meet you. What's your name? Or the friends coding. What's what's going on over here? I'm just trying to talk to your friend. Haha. <laughs> what's your name? Okay. Or if she's like, I can't I can't kiss you yet, and you're just like. Are you being shy? Ha ha ha. Right. Or for any one of those other scenarios that I mentioned. Okay. You can give that face and then you try to move things forward again. <clears throat> okay. So in my system, okay, which can be found in the link below where it talks about my complete system and this works over text as well. I have a, a second uh, product that talks about all my text game flow charts. Those, both of those links are in the description and the way I've built my system, is that it's, it's, it tells you exactly how to move things forward at every step of the way. And whenever there's a negative reaction or non-compliance that diverges off that straight path, I teach you exactly how to bring it back as quickly as possible and move it forward again. So a lot of people have likened my system to Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system. Okay. Cause you're moving things from the approach to the close. And if anything deviates along the way, you know how to redirect it back and move it forward. And the same goes with texting, all right? If a girl ignores a text, for instance, there's specific ways that I address that, okay? The solution is not to uh, ask her when she's free to meet up, when she's ignored your last question, okay? Or you've you sent her like, you know, various paragraphs and stuff like this, which I see a lot of guys doing incorrectly in text, and she's not replying, and you, so you decide to send more paragraphs, okay? And this is, the text equivalent of pushing the accelerator into the brick wall. All right. So for the full comprehensive solution of how exactly to move things forward in your in-person interactions, okay, both in night game and day game and on dates. Okay. And with online game as well. And also a solution for how to move things forward in text and how to deal with every little piece of non-compliance as they arise and continue to move things forward. Check out the links in the description. I will see you guys during this week on the next infield breakdowns and roasts and please like and subscribe if you have not already press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos five days per week thank you guys 
and take care.